what is it like bringing that out of a person or sort of showing that side of him when you also know that he can be incredibly cold and manipulative? You know, I think there, the cliche that there's two sides to every coin is true, right? Um, when he's when he's Miguel, he's a family man, he's a husband, he's uh, a father, he's a son, and that's who he is first and foremost, and that is probably his biggest blind spot, right? It's where he can shed uh, a lot of what he carries around in order to protect his family and to keep his business going. Uh, when he's Galindo, he's capable of incredible violence, uh, of incredible terror, uh, he's a monster, right? And he's the monster that you wouldn't see coming because he looks so refined and he wouldn't give anything away. So the emotion comes when he's personal with somebody, right? But when it's business, he's just cold-blooded. Which side do you like playing more, the business side or the family man? I like the middle ground. The middle ground. I like the unpredictability. I, lo I love the duality. I love it means where he's on his way to his family or on his way to do business. No, it's yeah, right. <laughs> no, when he's in the drive through McDonald's. No, I no, I think it's uh I think it's it's the duality. It's the, the the entire range makes him interesting. If he's only Miguel, right? Or if he's only Galindo, then it's it's predictable, uh it gets a little stale. It's very one note what the writers do so brilliantly is that they play in that gray area mm. where you don't quite know when Miguel walks into a room. Is he going to, you know, uh, be vicious? Uh, is he going to be calculating? Or is he going to be open and vulnerable, right? Mm.